What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Tekken 8. This is part 8. See what I did there? Tekken 8 part 8. It's poetic, okay? Like I said at the end of part 7. I'm sorry, I'm gonna milk it. It just seemed poetic to make part 8 of Tekken 8 the finale. So, I say what you will, think what you want. I wanted to do it because it just felt right. Alright, so, last episode we left off with... Uh, Angel Jin and True Devil Kazuya fighting, so hopefully you enjoyed that. Uh, they re they really need to make some collectible statues for the series because I would buy them, bro. I would buy Angel Jin, I would buy Devil Jin, Kazuya, uh, True Devil Kazuya, and Devil Kazuya. I would buy them, bro. They they need to. They would be expensive, most likely, but I'd be a happy customer right there, just being like, here, take my credit card, take my debit card, let me go to the bank and take out a small loan, and I'll buy them. But yeah. Uh, this is it. This is the finale by the uh, title, the thumbnail. This is the finale of the Tekken 8 series. So if you haven't already, you know, I got a whole playlist on the channel. Make sure to watch it if you haven't already. And uh, hopefully you enjoy the episode. I think I already said that, but hope you enjoy it, you know. <laughs> but all right, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss the video when it goes up like this one right now. And make sure to share the video, help the channel grow. Currently at 41 subscribers on our way to 50. And the goal for the end of the year is 100 subscribers. So, enough rambling, enough yapping. Let's get in to Tekken 8, the finale. デビルの力は失われた。もはや俺たちは人間に過ぎない。それがどうした？あんなものは手段の一つに過ぎん。ならば、お前は俺がここで止める。俺の前に立つならば、誰であろうと殺す。All right, hopefully you guys are ready for the finale. Hopefully I don't die as much. Hopefully I do pretty good. Let me show off my skills to you guys. That way I prove that I'm not <laughs> not so bad. So this is just from the trailer, so we're finally getting to see that sequence. Or when they were fighting in the trailer. Dude, when they first announced Tekken 8, I didn't know it was Tekken 8. Like, I saw the helmet, and it didn't register with me. So that was so cool. And that caught me, like, off guard completely. I was like, what? So it's so cool now. A couple of years ago, we got the trailer for it. And now we're actually playing the game. Oh, I could have bodied them. Okay, I walked into that. No. Okay, am I going to lose? No way. Okay, so I had that, all right? Don't give me crap. Bro got lucky. Okay, no one's doing it again. Miss. No. I almost had a perfect. Okay, that was close. I gotta, I gotta get good at reading him. Well, I don't know what to do there. I guess sidestep might be the play. Or get out the way. Oh, bro, stop giving me the back shots. I don't want them. There we go. Okay, we got him. Dude, look at the detail on these models, dude. You see the veins and all that? This is a cool stage though. They got the ocean in the background with tornadoes. 
We're on like a volcanic rock with fire in the background. It's a nice stage. Dang, Jin is getting bodied right now. I'm not playing, I swear. That was all game. <laughs> That's the cutscene right now. I wasn't doing anything. Come on, get up. I'm getting up. I, I can still get it up. Dude, I'm so excited to see where this story goes. No way. Okay, I, 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 uh, I'm blocked too soon. Okay. No, I'm blocking too soon. Come on. Oh. Bro, what? There we go. Okay, what do I do there? What do I do there? Oh, come on, there's an uppercut of... No, I'm trying to do the uppercut. There we go. No, no, don't fumble again. No, no, please, please, please. Oh my gosh. Dude, I'll use any method to beat you. Just about. No, what? There we go. I was about to say, no way he didn't. He uh, blocked whatever. No, you're not I me. Mean. He blocked that. Crap, my legs. No. Dude, I hate that move. It stuns me. My bad. Bro, I, I was blocking that. There you go. Nope. Don't fumble, bro. Don't fumble. No. That's it. Okay, we got him. Ooh, my heart, my heart's racing. I can't get over the graphics of this game. Oh. Well, kind of forever, baby. Didn't know what's up. He knows what month it is. It's so interesting to see them fight like this. Like, there's no Devil Jin, there's no no gimmick, no nothing. It's just father versus son, flesh and bone. I was trying to block. Like the tagline says, we're. No, no, I walked into that. Okay, good. Where fist meets fate. I just hope the fist isn't going anywhere where it's not supposed to. Dang it, dude. How do I... No. That... I'm gonna lose. Alright. Dang it! Alright, so that's... Fight. I don't count... I'm not gonna count the first one. The first loss didn't count, dude. He got lucky. I'll count this one though. I lost on this one, but that first one, that was some ball. Bro, I made him do a cartwheel. 
Okay. Oh, I got scared. Oh. Bro. Oh. What are you talking about? No flipping way. There we go. That was, why was that so hard? しかいしようとするものは何者も許さん。戦いとは最後にどちらが立っているか。you will be a shining star of hope. Tu devi vivere. Believe in yourself and look to the future. You go look good. And you get it. ちぶといやつめ。ほう。ディア。先生も誰より強い意志と覚悟をみんなが知っています。我々にも花を持たせてくれたまえ。ハートダイナティスト、ヴェンチャーエーラン。遅いぞ。キリフだ。託されたと思
I'm gonna break you. I'm gonna blow your back out. Pause. What? How did he block that? No crap. I can't. Nope. I can't get up. No, bro. Dang it. Oh, I want to do the uppercut. No. I don't know what happened. What the? No. No way, bro. I am trying to block these hits. Uppercut him, uppercut him, uppercut. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Come on, finish him. Not like that. You know which way. ありがとう。So his mom is dead? I guess he was just like a spiritual guidance for him to unlock his true potential. Dang, I really thought she was alive. I thought they were hinting at that. Not dead. It's gonna happen. What? No. That that that's Jun's feet. Not that I have a foot fetish or anything, but that's Jin's mom. That's her. That's the shoes that she wears. So she is alive. What? Okay. So. Oh, okay, Lars is, uh, I guess, like, back on our side now. Okay, that's good. Oh, there's Yoshimitsu. Okay, stop getting distracted. So she is alive, but does Jin not know then? And how does that work? How is... Can she project herself into his mind or something? Like, when he was out for a little bit and he was, you know, when his, like, I guess it was, like, in his mind that he was fighting when he was fighting, uh, I think, what part was it? It was... Uh, 
five or six when we were fighting against Devil Jin. Uh, how did she do that then? How did she project herself into him, into his mind? And if she is alive, then that means he doesn't know. Jin doesn't know. Also, where is I was expecting Reyna to show up. Where where was she at? They like teased there. Are we just not gonna get that? I spoke too soon. Yo, let's go. Oh, that's it. No. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, let's first dial it back. Uh, I only died. I'm gonna count it just once. I technically only failed one time. The first time did not count. He got lucky. Okay, cousin, you got lucky. All right. Second time, all right. I fumbled it. I'll give him that. But I'm going to, on to make boost my ego. I'm gonna say I died once, and I'm gonna call it technically I died once. Okay. But yeah. Okay. So let's go back to uh, Jin's mom, and I'm gonna go. I'm, I might like rant and you know ramble and yap for a minute here or two or five you know so if you don't want to you know hear me give my thoughts on the game and stuff like that then um thank you for watching obviously um hopefully you enjoyed the series and i'll see you next time for the character episodes and uh, dlc characters when they drop and silent hill the short message so like i said if you don't want to hear none of that or if you want to skip to the end if there's anything else uh you're free to as well like i said thank you for watching but for those that want to you know hear my thoughts and hear this mexican's opinions uh here we go yeah so story wise uh i loved it dude that was uh that wasn't that was intense but that was amazing like i could feel since i've played games of the series of tekken and i know the lore i can i can like feel the tension and i can feel the emotion of what jin's going through and what cousin is doing and like all his friends trying to support him um, I wasn't a big fan of, you know, uh, Zafina and how she died. Uh, I, was, I thought she would have more to offer to the story, uh, and but she was just killed off. Spoiler, if you didn't know that, my bad. And then Claudio, I think he had, his death was a bit more honorable, so to speak. Uh, kind of wish he did a little bit more, but I'm satisfied the way that he went out. Uh, I just kind of sucks now that he's gone. But uh, let's talk about... Reyna, okay, I was waiting for her to show up. I thought she was either going to come help me or I was going to have to fight her because she was going to be on Kuzuyu's side or I didn't know what she was thinking. But that confirms it right there that Reyna is the daughter of Heihachi, which makes her the sister of Kuzuya. Kuzuya kind of suspected that they were kind of related because she was like, oh, so you know Mishima style. But I don't know to what extent he knows, you know, does he know or does he suspect that, you know, that they're brother and sister, that, you know, it could be a cousin or, you know, a different family relation. I don't know. They didn't really, he didn't really dive into that and they didn't explain it. So, and same with Jin. Uh, I think if Kazuya and Reyna are brother and sister, uh, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm really wrong and I'm really bad with family trees and family ties, but I'm going to go on, I'm going to guess that that would make Reyna Jin's aunt. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comments, but uh, that's what I'm thinking, because I, like I said, I'm not good with family trees. But yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that Jin and, you know, Kazuya don't know their relationship with her and how she fits into the family. But does, does Jin's mom know then? Does she know that they have a, you know, Kazuya has a sister? Like, I, there's so many questions that I want answered but we're not gonna know until you know Tekken 9 when that comes out four to five years from now and we probably won't know until the PlayStation 6 comes out you know or the slim or the pro version whenever that drops but uh, I'm excited to see where the story goes from here and I hope you also are as well uh, thank you for the for coming along with me on this journey and hopefully you stay tuned for you know Silent Hill the short message on the channel got part two up here already and then you know like i said the individual character episodes and then dlc characters when that drops as well don't know when and don't know what the characters are so just gonna have to make sure you got the notifications turned on and you're subscribed so you get notifications when a video goes up oh snap this is uh i'm pretty sure this is copyrighted music so 
I'm gonna cut to when this is over, and then, you know, I'll give my overall thoughts on the game and what I would personally rate it. So, I'll see you after this. Alright, so we're back now, and uh, again, if you don't want to hear my thoughts over on the game, you don't want to hear me, you know, talk and ramble for so long, again, thank you for watching. You can scroll to the end and see if there's anything. You can scroll to the end to see if there's anything. Uh, like I said, thank you for watching. But yeah, going back into it now, overall as a whole Tekken 8, uh, I have to give the game a, a solid 9. Because I love Tekken, and if I wanted to be biased, I would give it like a 10. But I think solid nine is for where, for me, is where the game lands. Uh, there was some things I didn't like of the game. It was primarily just that one part in the battlefield, I think it was part five, where you're playing as the, a specific character fighting all the Jeep Cor G Corporation soldiers. Uh, I don't know, I didn't, I struggled on it, obviously. Um, but I don't know, it just kind of felt weird. And almost at a, it made you like, fall out of uh i can't put it how do i describe it it felt out of place and you know it kind of threw the pacing of the story kind of bit off obviously if i go back to it you know maybe you know not fail so many times maybe that wouldn't be an issue um and if i you know got good obviously i guess would be another thing skill issue my bad but that was one thing i didn't enjoy and it kind of just threw the whole pacing off for like a couple of minutes because you're doing like five five or six characters um uh, i kind of wish there was for that and another thing i didn't like was the tekken as the tournament aspect sorry uh it was part three when you're actually fighting in the king of iron first tournament uh you got to just do one round um i didn't like that i kind of wish it was like you know two rounds or the best two out of three uh but instead it was just one round i'm assuming it was just they, they did that just so the story kind of progressed a bit faster and you're not, you know, dragging it on in these fights. But I kind of wish there was more interaction with the opposing sides. So, you know, we got a little bit of Paul and, and Law fighting and bickering. Um, you know, Yoshimitsu and Brian Fury have a long history of being rivals. And it happens in the tournament a little bit. But then it's, it's kind of brushed off, like, really fast. And then... It doesn't come up again. So maybe in the individual character episodes, that's where it's expanded upon. I don't know. I haven't played them yet. So maybe that's where my opinion will change on that. Uh, and again, with Kazuya, uh, I'm not sure if he's dead. Because in Tekken 7, when Kazuya landed the fatal blow on Heihachi, and I'm sorry I'm talking for so long, I'm sorry, but you would hear his heartbeat slow down and then it stops. And then he collapses and he dies. Then obviously he throws him into a volcano. Uh, so then he's dead. Right, sorry for that weird edit right there. But uh, I just wanted to show you what I unlocked. I unlocked uh, the character episode for Jun Kazama. And who else was it? Was it Reina I think? Yeah, Reina right here. So expect these character episodes on the channel. Depending on how long or short they are. Um, I can either do two if they're pretty short, maybe three, or maybe two if they're pretty long. Uh, Tekken 7, they were just, it was like one round and it was over and I didn't like that. So hopefully maybe it's improved in Tekken 8, not sure. But yeah, look forward to these character episodes on the channel. Uh, but to go back to Kazuya, maybe he's not dead. Maybe he's not. Because I didn't hear, they didn't really... They should have, I think they would have done the heartbeat stopping again, uh, but they didn't. So maybe that leaves the door open for interpretation or maybe not. Maybe he's completely dead, but yeah. And then I, I really hope they end up releasing collectible statues because I would like to buy one for Devil Jin, Devil Kazuya, Angel Jin, Devil Reina, True Devil Kazuya. Like I would, I would buy them, you know, uh, but overall I give the game an, a nine. And uh, if you do like, if you're a fan of Tekken and fighting games, I recommend this game. You know, I do, I really do. Uh, if you're intrigued by it and interested, I would suggest you pick it up and play it. Um, whether you want to pay the, the full $70 full price, or if you want to wait for it to go on sale, you do. You spend your money the way you want to. Uh, if you want to pay a full price, go for it. If you want to wait and save some money, also do it as well. But yeah, 
Uh, that's my thoughts and opinions on the game. Oh, one thing before I go. Uh, like I said in like every episode, basically, I love the character models. Each character model is highly detailed. It's they're, they're beautiful. They're stunning to look at. The graphics are stunning. This is the best Tekken, the Tekken series, has ever looked. Ever. The graphics, the character models, the stage designs, they're all beautiful. They're all wonderful. I love them. It's peak fighting game right here. This is what fighting games and their graphics should be and how it is. Uh, like I said, story was great. Can't wait for more in Tekken 9. And yeah, those are, those are my thoughts. Enough rambling, enough yapping. I've been holding you hostage for a while now. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the episode. Hopefully you enjoyed the series. And again, thank you so much for all the support on the videos. And thank you for tagging along with the series. And uh, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Do all the good stuff and share this video. And I'll catch you guys in second eight character episodes. Silent Hill, a short message. And whatever else I play on the channel. All right, for real, enough rambling. Thank you guys so much for watching. Deuces.